Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So first of all, I hope everyone had a awesome Thanksgiving. Mine was good, but then it got worse because I was sick. I got a little better and then I went away to see some family and I got sick again. So I think there's something going around, but my voice is a little crackly. So I apologize for that, but I just wanted to put this video out today and I wanted to make this video. So I just created a new machine or a new desktop and I'll show you a little bit about this desktop. It's about 128 gigs of RAM. It is one of my older desktops on the one I'm filming on is an i9 256 gigs of RAM. But what I wanted to do on this machine is install Windows Server 2025 and I also want to start doing Florida Gate training. So the reason why this came all about, I was helping just before the holidays, before I got sick, I was helping a friend out with his network and network security, installing a new firewall for his organization. And it really, you know, sparked that interest again to do some network security stuff. So here we are. I might make it a mini series. I might make it just a couple videos. We'll see. I wrote down everything that I did at my friend's organization. So I know I have a few videos off, you know, off the cuff already and I have to install GNS3 and I have to get a few little images. So that's where I have to see how far I can get. And, uh, but we'll get there when we get there. I'll have to do some due diligence and research. Okay. But in this video, we're just going to be installing 2025 server enough with the yapping, right, Pat? All right. So I did install VMware workstation. So I have VMware workstation on this machine. So let's go ahead and open this up and it's a little small. And I guess because I'm remote, I am RDP'd into this machine. So I'm not sure if it's just tiny because, and I can't change the resolution I already tried. So I may have to do this when I go back downstairs because you know, I'm in my new house and all my computer equipment is in, in like a little MDF in my house. So all my servers, all this workstation, etc. So I'll try to zoom some stuff in, so no worries. So the first thing we have to do is do a typical, and I've installed multiple, multiple operating systems on this channel, so this should be pretty familiar. And I wanna go ahead and browse out to the ISO. I wanna go to downloads, and this Windows server, I just uh, renamed it so I know what it is. And just go ahead and click on next. And it's gonna be Windows uh, Microsoft Windows and see if they have server. I'm not sure if they have server 2025, but the latest is 2022, so I'll take it. Let's go ahead and hit next and let's just change this two to a five. And I wanna leave it right where it is. That's fine for me. I don't need to change that. And I wanna go ahead and give it a little more, uh, I wanna give it 90 gigs just, just for my uh, sanity. So, these two options here, we have store virtual disk as a single uh, file, which this mean, what this means is that 90 gigs is gonna be one solid file, right? So the next one is split this into multiple files. This is saying, okay, I'm not gonna utilize the full 90 gigs. I'm gonna give it exactly what the operating system needs and then I'll grow it you know, over time. So that's that. Let's go ahead and click on next. And I wanna go ahead and customize my hardware and I want to give this I have 128 gigs so I can I can afford to give it about eight gigs CPU I want to give it two two whoop nuts I want to give it two two and that should be fine for me and that should be fine this is all good and uh, as far as printer I want to go ahead and remove that and it should be good so let's go ahead and hit close here and hit finished so we'll see how this looks and you see, let's see if it has the floppy. It doesn't, awesome. So sometimes if you get a little floppy drive, you have to go in and remove the floppy, but we don't have that in this case, so that's good. So let's go ahead and just power this bad boy up. And we'll give this a moment and we'll click inside and hit enter. And let's go ahead and X out of here. Let's just make this bigger just for Let's go ahead and just make this a little, little bigger so I can zoom in as well if I need to. Okay, so let's see what this is. This is the actual first time that I'm doing 2025 server. So this is a learning experience for the both of us, or for all of us, whoever's watching this video. 
So English is my native language. I do speak a few languages, but today I want to be speaking English. Let's go ahead and hit next here. US keyboard, that's totally fine for me. And what I want to do, uh, I would like to install Windows Server. And this is this is different from Windows Server 2022. So go ahead and hit next here. And we're we're getting some stuff ready. And Windows Server 2025 standard. I want to do standard desktop edition because the desktop experience, excuse me. Uh, this is going to give you that GUI. If you don't uh, if you don't select this one, you're going to have just a just a command prompt or the PowerShell. If you're a CLI expert, go for it. But I uh, I'm not a CLI expert. I know enough, but I prefer the GUI. So let's go ahead and hit next. <clears throat> I still have this cough and my throat's still hurting and I'm dying and whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and hit accept here and let's give this a moment to cook. And it's gonna go ahead and search for the disk. It's gonna find this 90 gigs disk. You can go ahead and create another partition, however you wanna do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just give it the whole 90. I'm fine there. Let's get, click on next and give this a moment to cook. And now it says install Windows Server 2025 Standard Edition. Keep nothing. I don't have anything to keep, so let's go ahead and install it. And we'll give this a moment while this is going. We'll resume once it gets to the next step. Alrighty then. So that took about five or six minutes or so. Once it's completed, your machine will reboot and then you will get prompt to select a password for your administrator account. So let me go ahead and put my fancy password that I always use. Okay, let's do that again. All right, let's go ahead and click on finish and let's see if we can get, all right, let's see if we can log in. All right, let's go ahead and just do a little control delete action. Let's go ahead and log in. All right, so once it actually logs in, there's a few more things that I wanna do prior to finishing this video. So, as always, I wanna actually install VMware tools so I can have a wide screen and full screen. Let's see if it, sometimes it'll install it for you, but I don't think it's going to because we can see that it's a small screen. I'm gonna go ahead and click on accept. It doesn't really matter. And I'm using NAT, so I wanna see what my IP address is as well. And I wanna end up statically assigning this. But let's go ahead and see. So I'm on the 192.168.222 network. Okay, that's fine for me. Like I said, I never, this is a brand new desktop that I just reinstalled Windows on my local host that's sitting downstairs. So I didn't even set up my NAT. I didn't set up like how it's normally. So I can keep it 222, that's fine for me. So what I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and put this in the right time zone as well. Let's go ahead and adjust that. And my region, my time zone is going to be Eastern. And let's come down a little bit more, Eastern USA. And it is 8 p.m. my time, so that's about right for me. All right, so that's that. And the next thing we're gonna do is right click on the VM, go ahead and install VMware tools. And let's go ahead and X out of here and make this bigger again. And let's go ahead and go to File Explorer and see if the VMware tools showed up. Let's go to this PC and here it is right here. Let's go ahead and double click on that bad boy and get this cooking. So once this is cooking, we can hit next. Once we reboot, we can see a full screen and it'll look a lot more crisp and you know just be better. So let's go ahead and click on next here. Typical is fine for me. And let's go ahead and just click on install. Like I said, this is gonna be like maybe a mini series about F Florida Gate, but I wanted to get a Windows server in here and I figured I'd just make a video on it, right? It's the newest, latest and greatest Windows server. Uh, so I might actually go ahead and utilize this with Active Directory in the future, set up, you know, maybe some attack defend type labs. The sky's the limit with this machine. I really enjoy this machine. So you can see now everything is bigger. I wanna go ahead and reboot, yes. And once you restart, you should be golden. And that's pretty much how I set up Windows Server 2025. And now I'm just gonna go and see what kind of IP schemes I wanna build out my network and see how I'm gonna go about setting all that stuff up. 
So let's just go ahead and just log back in. I guess we can just make sure everything is working before I let you guys go. And we should be golden. So obviously, as you as you know, if you don't know, if you're new to VMware, what you can do is come over to File, oh, excuse me, Edit, Virtual Editor. So Virtual Network Editor, this will, this will show you, it might be a little tiny, so I might have to zoom this in. So my NAT network, how I normally set up my networks, if you guys are familiar, if you guys watch me uh, throughout the couple of years, I always use either 99 or 100, like 192.168.99 or 192.168.100, just because it's a network that I've been using for many years and I'm familiar with it and it and it's not the same networks that I use for my my local my local network, right? Like my VLANs, like my cameras and my TVs and my you know IoT devices are separate from my my quote unquote production network, right? Like this computer, that even that local computer that I have plugged into my switch, this is on the network that I currently use for my prod, if you want to call it that, and then. Like everything else on my IOTs are on a different VLAN. So or if you come over my house, when you get on the Wi-Fi, I have a guest Wi-Fi that you don't have access unless you understand VLAN hopping and if you want to try to hack me. But uh, for the most part, you can't just open up computer and, and go to network and start doing network discoveries and stuff like that because it's on a different broadcast domain. But um, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys can find this you know, you found this video informative. If you guys have any questions on installing 2025, you know, put it in the comments below. And if you're enjoying 2025, let me know, because this is the first time I'm using it. So I want to give my feedback in the future videos. So thank you so much and have a beautiful day.